Uh, for those who understand, they know leaders actually have to lead from the back. They have yes. to encourage. Yes. They have to be an example. Yeah. Uh, so it's good to see that you have such a platform where you know, people like this, of course, they celebrate it, but, uh, you know, even, uh, you know, for I believe, um, um, for ordinary citizens, uh, it's good for them to see. Uh, to understand what service is, the real concept of service, I just want to call in, uh, you know, to encourage you to keep doing the good of their dream. And thank you very much, Debo, for all you do. We see you, you online, we see how you speak against you know, police brutality and injustice. Please keep it up. Thank Don't you. let anyone dim your light. Uh, keep thank up the good work. Thank you very, very thank much. Thank you very much, Mr. Shagun. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Oh, all right. Thank you. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Nigerians are. <laughs> Starstruck, should I say? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> Starstruck. The appreciative of your efforts, and honestly, we all are. Well, we all are. well, we um, the same. How why some people can be appreciative? The only people that will be appreciative will be people that want the growth and development mm. of Nigeria. Mm. Mm. Sometimes I go out and maybe we jam some politicians or some people that work for some politicians. I'm like, ah, you, Macaroni, you they fight with politicians. You You'll be enemy of the, this one or enemy of the okay. that one. No. Mm. No. We are for... Okay. We have a call on. Hello? Hello? Yes, good evening. This is PVC Loud. Good evening. What's your name? Hello? Hello. Good evening. Yes, yeah, good evening. How are you? Yes, tell us your name, please. Yeah, I want to comment on the show, on the uh, this show. The, the, the please, go the ahead, show. please go ahead, please go ahead. Please go ahead. From Lomitobo. Please go ahead. Please go ahead, sir. Hello? I think we lost that call. Hello? Please go ahead. Hello? Hello? Yes, good evening, please. Hello. I can hear you very clear. Very clear. Please, I want to comment on the show. Yeah, what's the name, please? Yes. What's the name, please? All right. Um, please, please do call us in and talk to Mr. Macaroni. We also like to have your comments, questions. Please don't ask him whether he's getting married or he's contesting. <laughs> very clear that he has no such interest <laughs> for now. Um, so, yeah, please call in and... Dropping your two cents. Mm. Yes. You know, so like I was saying, um, some, so, some politicians or some people that work for them, you say, are ah, you, they are fighting with us. And I said, no. Well, I'm, I'm not fighting you. Mm. I'm not against you. You know, all we are saying is Nigeria deserves better. Absolutely. The people of Nigeria deserve better. This nation, this country has been so blessed so blessed that we should not be living the way we are living. We should not be, as we still strike, the education of Nigerian youths, the, educa the Nigerian students, their future is in, is, is, in, is in jeopardy. Yeah. Because of what? For politics. So when, when our leaders start to understand that the only reason they are in office is to serve the people, then they, they, won't, they won't understand the pain that the average Nigerian suffers. And that's why they keep thinking, oh, people always just criticize. Nobody's praising them. Your, your work... No, you're not going to be praised. Yes. You're, it's 100% criticism. Sorry, you're not supposed to be praised. Yes, 100% criticism. Absolutely. You're not supposed to be praised. And I can say this, in as much as, um, of course, we know that um, um, association in universities or other groups is quite different from how it is in national yeah, level or state level. What we are talking about is concept of leadership. Absolutely. What we are talking about is leadership in itself. Hello, sorry. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening, please. Yes. Hello. Hello, good evening. What's your name, please? Yeah, why speaking to the streaming life with uh, Mr. Macaroni? 
Yes, you are, please. Tell us your name, please. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, my name is Emmanuel, calling from Shadamu. All right, Emmanuel. Please go on. Hello, Emmanuel. Hello, Emmanuel. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello, who's there, please? Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening, please. What's your name, please? Hello? I can hear you loud and clear. Hello? All right. Mr. Macaroni, yes. we cannot end this discussion today without talking about the answers. Mm. And I'm not talking about, I don't want to go into the intricacies of the answers anymore. No. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a bitter past that we must continue to recognize going ahead, yeah. regardless. However, do you think that the answers, number one, has a major role to play in the youth involvement today yeah. in governance? And number two, mm. do you think that the youth are truly ready mm. for, new, for change? Yeah. Well, um... Your first question, I think I've answered before, when I said NSAS is the catalyst for me. Mm. You know, that's for you individually. Yes, individually, personally. yes. And I think for a lot of other youths too. Mm. We saw, we, we saw um, the, the statistics mm. from what INEC released. Absolutely. New, newly registered voters, 80%, between 70 to 80% are Nigerian youths. Yes. There's a reason for that. These youths... In as much as even before that number, we've always had youths to be the larger percentage mm. of those that register. But there's a new, there's a new demography, and that's the demography of the answers. Mm. Those people who have been aggrieved, who feel, who feel bitter about everything that happened, have now come together because, and it's part of what we preach. We said, look. We will not be on the streets forever. Absolutely. We, we can't be on the streets forever. So that energy from answers, we need to convert it and let these people know, not until Nigerian leaders realize that the power truly belongs to the people. They will not change. They will not change. You can see, w tell me one, one Nigerian leader that, that would go to that place and would leave power. <laughs> and want to know, power corrupts. So they will, and you know, you were saying something about the leaders too. I believe that the leaders are a product of society. Of mm. course, government is a product of society. Yes, yes. By nature, we as human beings are greedy, you know, selfish. Mm. It takes you as a leader to understand that you are there to serve, that you would, before you realize that you cannot take what does not belong mm. to you, what belongs to the people. That's why you find, you find that a lot of our leaders prefer to ride in fancy cars, they are heavily protected, while the people suffer. It's because they do not understand that they are there, that their primary duty is to serve. serve. I, I, I strongly believe when our leaders realize that, that that is their primary duty, to serve. So when, I talk, when I'm saying that, oh, I don't like what the governor of Lagos State did, did you, I don't expect the governor of Lagos State to be angry. Absolutely not. That I'm saying I don't like what he did. You should be looking at how to remedy the situation. Because he is working for me. Yes. He is working for the people of Lagos State. So when the people of Lagos State are complaining about the robbery, or they are complaining about um, insecurity, or this or that, okay. he must listen. Because his only responsibility is to serve the people of Lagos State. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we, we I, I, I strongly believe, and not until the uh, Nigerian, and yes, your second question, are the youth truly ready? Time will tell. Hmm. 20 century will tell. Hmm. You know, I, I, I don't know what will happen. Right now, I strongly believe everyone is working and working, and we all, want, we, we all know we want that desired change. But is freedom coming by struggle? It won't come sitting down. You, you, you can't be sitting down and expect change or expect that freedom to, um, uh, uh, to come, to, come you. to you. You need to work for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hello? Hello? Sorry, I'll be called right there. Hello? Good evening. Yeah. What's your name, please? And where are you calling from? Uh, um, my brother. Hello? Hello, please. What's your name, please? Yeah, please. You know, I am that same lawman from Abia State. Right. <laughs> See, the thing I want to let Nigerians
serious note. A political party came and told us with a change mantra. They told us they are going to make things good for us with a change mantra. At the end of the day, they are still importing food. They are still importing food. Hello? So why am I asking this question? Why was people go for that party? Still important to us, and we have the finance. They cannot uh, report our finance for no foreign parents to start working. So, what I am saying is that I am telling the whole Nigeria to know that any political party that has told us lies should not be voted into power. It's the only person whom we are seeing that have worked, and that person has worked and left some money back in the form of state government. Nigeria will never be better. So I am telling the electorate, the whole Nigeria. Now, people told us they will do this for us, they will do this for us, and it is now a cast of blood in the air. Nothing, nothing, nothing. People are shopping. Villages are pushed up. A lot of people are living in penury. And people are not. They will you know, fly out of place, they put it and leave it out of the And this is here, suffering, but coming to this kind of promise to Allah. Uh, all, all right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, Tabama. Thank you. Tabama is very, very passionate about, about Nigeria. Of course, of course. <laughs> all the way from our number of states. A place, a place where you live in, uh, you know, at some point, you also get tired of everything just the way it is. Mm. You want progress. You want growth. Absolutely. And if you are in a system that does not allow you to grow, you get frustrated. Absolutely. You get tired. Absolutely. You know, so to, uh, about what he said is, is, is uh, there's one of those is our pick. We need to get to a point where we are the ones deciding the leaders. That's why we need to take 2023 elections very seriously. Mm. Let's see our strength with this election. Let's see the numbers we can pull. So that if we are the ones in, if Nigerians, you know that if you mess up there, you get there, you, you get get the, out the, again. You, you leave. Garbage in, garbage you do out. Four years. Once is, we see that you are not doing well. Once we see that the things that you promised is not what we are. Oh yeah, like hey, go away. Let another person come in there. That's how we should be. What's in law? What's in law? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you can hold the leaders accountable because left to them, they would rather remain there. Absolutely. Not doing anything. Absolutely. Well, Mr. Macaroni, I want to put you on the spot now. Um, who are you voting for 2023? <laughs> Let us know. I have said, I have said, look, I know what, I know what it, it, it can do coming out and saying, vote for What's this person. person. Or if, even if I say, this is who I want to vote for, and I know, look, the thing is, I do not want to use this platform to campaign for politicians. Mm -hmm.